Dear Roda friends, welcome to Dual Review. Why so? Because we have actually a couple of reissues which are kind of bonded together. The band in question is German band Ketzer, and we have a couple of their earlier albums for review here. Both are, as said, reissues with a couple of bonus tracks. This one is the debut album from 2009, and this came a little bit later, being the second album in question. Now, those of you who are familiar already with the uh, band or my reviews of their latest album, Cloud Collider, it is a little bit different than uh, the current state of, uh, I mean, the previous state of Catcher. The current state is more like kind of a post-metallic -metal approach to this band. Of course, you can find more information on my previous uh, review. However, these first two albums are quite a different breed. Let's start a little bit of unboxing. As you can see, this one is uh, is with a couple of bonus tracks here, live ones, which are also the same tracks that are obviously on the album as well. Cool cover art, nice digipack, so here you have it. Um, this is once again the CD with this kind of a bestial devilish creature holding a sword and chains. Underneath we have just the logo and some band image. Then we have a uh, booklet here with some lyrics obviously included, some photos as well. Uh, I'm not gonna zoom it too uh, closely because it would take way too much time. And then you, of course you need something to have when you are gonna buy this album because it's so goddamn good. Now, it's probably more than likely that you have missed this band earlier because it was released on a relatively small label when it was originally released. Now that they are under Metal Blade, uh, they have got more, I guess, audience, more spread, which is then again more than deserved with these great albums. Especially the debut album is something that I like very, very much. Oops, I kind of revealed the winner already. Now, this... Uh, Enzite Metropoli is the second album, a little bit different theme, one could say even more adult. I'm not say, gonna say it's worse, just different. So instead of a demonic creatures, this one is a kind of a city themed album cover, also with the name, referring to End Times, that is Enzite. And once again, here we have lyrics and very cool uh, layout with images, in my opinion. I really like the aesthetics here, giving you a little bit uh, different vibe than the uh, debut album. But nonetheless, the music is not that uh, different, to be honest. Because to one scan, these both albums are more or less kind of a black trash. Now that we have gotten covered how it looks, how it feels. It's time to talk about the music. Now, Ketcher started with a kind of a black trash that actually reminds me a lot about Australian, or Australian originating band Destroyer 666. Not only Destroyer 666 or just D666, uh, this is also a little bit uh, relative to uh, another German band, Disaster. And also I could add to this trio that Usurper from United States kind of a has the same kind of a boneheaded and very heavy metal oriented trash black kind of a combo. So with this original trio, Kitcher is more like a kind of a younger brother to this trio, bringing the very much the same kind of a flame and passion uh, to this uh, subgenre with their earlier albums. Now, um, Satan's on uh, Satan's Boundaries and Chain. What a weird name for a la and an album if you think for a bit. Um, I think they're very, very much in the D666 sense. That is melodic, catchy riffs, also the kind of a trashy grooviness, um, high tempo, not ultra fast, but nevertheless very energetic, and yet at the same time also kind of a black metallic feeling to these riffs and vocals. Um, and even the sound is more like, I don't know, between kind of a typical trash metal sound and also uh, kind of a black metallic sound. So it's not your mainstream hi-fi, but it's not exactly lo-fi either, it's somewhere between those uh, extremities. 
But what matters the most is obviously how the riffs are written, how the gears do the whole album throughout, and I think it's very, very catchy. And curiously enough, the album doesn't have its kind of a strongest tracks in the beginning. It just kind of gives you a taster, and it gets better, especially since starting from the track War Last. I think it really pushes the pedal to the metal, <laughs> I have to say. And uh, I think that kind of shows that this is not just about having a couple of better tracks in the beginning and then just going on decline, but rather on the other other way around, which makes this album very, very nice to listen to. Now, this is a, uh, like I said, this is a uh, couple of bonus tracks here, uh, which then again makes this album filled with about 10 minutes more music. And as you can see, these uh, bonus tracks are, even though a little bit newer than the original versions, they are still live tracks. And in my opinion, they are not so much needed, because this album is very much what it was with its 41 minutes, uh, already very kind of uh, nice. So these live tracks are maybe a little bit thin in comparison to studio tracks, but I mean, it's not like they're going to ruin the album, but they're just like... like not so mandatory bonus track. So if you have the original version, I don't know if you need this one, but then again, why go for the original one if you can get this one? Well, it's a matter of taste when you, whether you prefer Digiback or Tool Case. Now, uh, this second album, Inside, uh, is a little bit weaker. I'm not gonna say it's weak. I'm just saying it's not strong enough as the first one. It's not that catchy. It's more monotone as a result, but still having the kind of a same flame, same feeling as their original album. If I was to listen to this other way around, like starting with the second album, then the first one might be a little bit of an upgrade towards this one. But, I mean, it's very typical for mini bands. Even Destroy 666 has done some less than the best albums later on. So it's not like Kitzer is alone on this boat. And obviously it's a matter of taste. Some might be actually like Inside more than debut one. But, you know, very much... Uh, carved from the same stone in essence and I think they're kind of uh, complementing each other. So a good duo, could couple, could pair, whatever you want to say it. Uh, both are good albums but if I had to pick winner of this duo it would be the debut album. So if you have money only for one go for this one. Obviously you're gonna need on the long run the both ones and they are nice looking ditchy backs, something that I proudly can add to my collection with the newer album as well. So, check out Ketzer, one of those better reissues this year. So, there you have it. Go listen to them and 